Hello there, it's me, Carl Welshman, and today we're going to be talking about Salt Single Hop Series Amarillo Edition. It says on the back here, let's have a little see, let's, let's have a little see what it says. Uh, yeah, they talk about their name Salt. I'm not, I'm not going to be talking about that. I want to see if there's a story specifically about the hops. Okay, hops are the flowers or cones of the hop plant. They are the reason your beer is bitter, citrusy, piney or fruity. Hops are grown around the world and different strains of hops have vastly varying characteristics. That's true, that's true. This series of single hop beers aims to showcase their unique characters, some of our favourite hop varieties. The fifth instalment of this series showcases Amarillo. Amarillo hops are widely known for their citrusy characteristics combined with floral tropical notes with distinct notes of lemon zest and fresh orange. Well that sounds good. I'm just hoping that it's not too zesty. Not too zesty. I don't want it to be too bitter. I picked up this beer in Asda in uh, February. Just putting that out there just in case uh, you're watching it going, oh, I quite like the sound of that. And you go to get it and they haven't got it. Okay, we've got a very lemony yellow looking glass here. Lemony yellow. Here's your tin. Bit rough, except for this bit here. Silky soft. Look at my old man finger. Old man finger, you fucking dick. It's one of my favourite songs. Old man finger, you fucking dick. Going in for his sniffs. Yeah. You can smell it. Floral, lemony. Usual shit. It's nice, not much in the way of tropics, which is, you know, good, because all of them tend to taste tropical, you know, your pale ales and your IPAs, they tend to be tropics. There's, there's a little bit of tropics in there, but mostly, kind of lemony, it's like a lemony, lemony flavor at the back. Rather mild. I thought it'd be a bit more punchy. It's not as punchy as I was hoping. Quite a mild beer. I'm gonna be honest with you, I have been in the pub drinking a selection of local craft beers directly from the tap, so it will have made most beers that come from the tin from supermarkets feel quite lackluster, but we're gonna, we're, we're gonna power through. I'm gonna try and be an, be an, an honest guy here. Almost coconutty when I breathe out. Very lemony, like lemon fresh bathroom cleaner or some shit. Not as strong as that, but like a little hint at the back. Lemony. That's all right. That's a nice beer. It's nice. It's not making me go crazy. Um, it's coming in at a 5.0%, so it's, you know, it's all right. Not too strong, not too mild. It's not like your 3.4 fucking Carlsbergs that you can drink on your way to school or anything like that. I think um, this Salt Single Hop Series Amarillo Edition is absolutely perfect for when you're doing a little bit of Scrabble. You know, with your friends, you're all there, you got the fucking Scrabble board laid out. And I think I was probably inspired by all of the little shapes on you. I mean, you think of a Scrabble board, but you're there and you've got your fucking pile of letters. And one of your friends, he's written Jerusalem. And your other friend, she's written Tenby. And you're there and you've got a fucking row of letters there. And you're fucking and an iron whether you put them all out because you know the consequence of what's going to happen you have a little reach into your bum bag you put your salt 
Amarillo from your bun bag. Have a little sip. You put your letters out. Turns out that it's a spell from some sort of dark, ancient fucking time before man was even on the planet. It's from a time when the original man was here and wiped out and then dinosaurs took over. Um, it's very, very ancient, very, very dark. It's the original evil. And you conjure up this creature, which a lot of people would say is a demon, but actually it's the original inhabitant of not only Earth, but the universe as we know it. It sort of scurries around licking people's faces and they're like oh this is cute because it looks a little bit like a cat but those licks soon start to burn into the flesh and right the way through the bone melting the bone and subsequently just killing all of your friends that you were playing scrabble with it turns around and says to you you are my owner you are my creator i am your familiar and you quickly adapt a kind of symbol with your hands which looks a little vaginally but it's not really a vagina it's a portal is a representation of a portal which quickly creates some sort of light which subsequently releases a number of beasts from another realm and another universe into our universe destroying everything that we know except for you you kind of get like a three wishes thing and you sort of just go well i could wi I, I wish i had a million pounds and you, you get a million pounds i wish i could have all of the uh, kentucky fried chicken i could ever want and anytime you do want kfc chicken it does appear and your third wish is that i wish i could pop a never-ending boner which you do pop and you kind of go back on that wish you wish you didn't have that because having an erection 24 7 is not going to not going to feel pleasant really uh, the first day or two with the boner is quite nice but then subsequently you're not that comfortable and walking around is quite difficult but you don't really mind because most of the earth has been destroyed by the creatures that you summon through your uh, vagina display in your hands so salt amarillo single hop series <coughs> You get yourself a fucking, uh, yeah, let's go seven out of 10. I'll drink you again, no props. Tropically, nice carbonation, nice and citrusy, not in a bitter way, but mostly lemony at the back there. Rather tasty. Oh God, all the eggs. 